Locked up in the Tower of London. I love history, especially when I have a chance to look around dark, damp old dungeons and check out gruesome stuff like torture chambers and... Well, you get the idea. So here I am at the Tower of London. My uncle's a beef eater, one of the special yeoman warders. He's always telling me about the famous prisoners at the Tower, so I've come on a tour to check the place out for myself. We've arrived at the Salt Tower. On some of the walls you can see carvings in the stones made by prisoners. I suppose if you were stuck with nothing else to do, probably knowing you're going to be executed, you might like to leave your mark. Look at this engraving. It's amazing. A circular pattern with numbers and symbols carved into the wall. It says it was carved by a Hugh Draper in 1561. Wonder if I can feel it to see how deep it goes. Uh-oh, I've gone back in time again. The carving's disappeared. Look out, here comes a warder with a prisoner. Maybe it's the prisoner who carved that strange shape into the wall. I am but a simple man, an innkeeper only. I am not a scholar, nor a nobleman, or a priest. Hugh Draper, you are accused of sorcery by John Mann. He claims you and your friends used your witchcraft against Sir William St. Lowe and his wife of the Queen's Court. It never pays to wish harm on those close to Her Majesty. And with what proof? I well liked by all, I never caused harm. But you had a load of spell books, didn't you? Books? I have no books! Or not anymore. Well, I may have had an interest in unworldly matters, but in any case, I burnt them all. I bring nothing. You have no business learning from books anyway. You should have confined your efforts to pouring ale and sweeping the floor. Do you not read? Only the prison ledgers here. Not exciting enough for you, I'm sure. But at least I do not offend God or the Queen in the pursuit. Please have mercy, Warder. I'm so sick. You've eaten nothing for days. Well, excuse me. Flagon of ale and roast swan coming right up, Your Honour. <laughs> he might not have brought his books in with him, but it looks like he remembers a lot about what was in them. He's scraping a chart onto the wall. It's the one I saw, with signs for the planets. Numbers, perhaps. I wonder what it means. It does look pretty spooky. From the ledger, it appears you have coin enough to be fed, even if not roast swan. I bring bread and a tonic. Hmm. I see you are not too ill to deface the wall, Mr. Draper. Your claim to dislike the craft of sorcery did not last long either, I see. Here's the really spooky thing. My uncle told me that we know that Hugh was locked up here because the warders kept records of everyone and everything that happened here, right down to the amount of money spent on a prisoner's food. But there are no records of his execution or release. And if he was released, there are no records to say what became of him for the rest of his life. It's almost like he disappeared in a puff of smoke. Whoa, what happened there? Did he really disappear? Or did I? I mean, I reckon it would be exciting to be a wizard and get into Hogwarts. But it seems like back in those times, magic was seen as something real and dangerous. You didn't even need people to see you doing a magic trick. Just being accused was enough to land you in the tower. Even still, maybe the stories are true and Hugh managed to escape in a puff of smoke. How cool would that be? I better escape too. See you soon. Locked up in the Tower of London with support from historic royal palaces. Find out more at funkidslive.com slash tower.